my live audience. Okay. Okay. It's really close and personal. Okay, I'm not even gonna look at the camera. I'm gonna look at you guys. <laughs> okay. So this is the story about when I did my homecoming routine for my senior year of high school. Okay, so it started out um, just back at the very beginning. It was horrible. I At first I like went into it not really knowing like what it was gonna be. I kind of was just like, I have never done this and I wanted to do it every single year, but every year somebody choreographed it they were really bad and each year they were horrible but like the context of what they are is um just each year how do I explain this so like every class like I don't know if you guys had it at your schools but like every homecoming year like each class gets to like do a performance and they get to like do a routine and it's like you get to represent your class and it's like this big thing and it's like whatever but um each year our class was like really bad like our very first year um it was uh horrible um we literally had two people that actually did it and then it was so sad and embarrassing that the whole school just jumped into like the whole assembly and everyone was dancing like it was just a mess it was really sad um and so i was like okay what well, i was like my senior year i need to do that and i'm like and also i'm gonna like me and riley and celeste we're all like we're just gonna do this and we're gonna make it like not horrible so yeah <laughs> and so we got together and we like kind of just came up with a plan of what we wanted to do and we like we were all on cheer and dance so like we had an idea of like how to put it together and like we like put it into eight counts and stuff and like we realized that like people were gonna do it, but we didn't actually think about like the capacity of how many people were gonna get involved. <gasps> and it was insane. There was like at least 40 people. Damn. Like, and we like had never done something like that. So it was like probably just like so overwhelming. And also like all these people like didn't know how to f like do an eight count. And we only knew how to do eight counts. And so like trying to explain that to somebody who doesn't know how to do an eight count was like, it's just like so hard to teach like and also have to teach so many people that don't know how to do an account was just like Just a lot and also on top of that. No one wanted to listen to us like at practices Everyone was like doing side conversations and like not listening to us and it was just very irritating and we just didn't know it, we, we didn't know what we signed up for pretty much and it was crazy um, but then we like ended up coming together with like like just like exactly what we wanted it to be. It wasn't like too, like it wasn't like the best thing in the world, but it was like what we could have done in like that time span. And also like with the amount of effort that people were giving, because you know, not everyone was giving a, a good amount of effort. So yes, it we like did everything. And like, so the point was is towards the end, I had to like be like really like, not like aggressive, but like I had to put my foot down and like, I'm telling you right now, like, that is one of the most uncomfortable things you have to do, especially with people that are literally your age, because they just don't want to listen to you mm -hmm. clearly. Like, I could see that already at practices, but then I had to see that even more when, like, I had to tell them what to do and when to show up to practice and when practice was and all this stuff. And so I said, like, okay, like, you guys can, like, not make it to these practices, but the very last practice, like, you guys need to come to that like that's important please like you guys are coming if you're not I was like if you don't show up to that last practice you're not in it like sorry like I don't care like no excuses like that's our last practice before the performance like and like the reason that was so important was because like if you think about it like that many amount of people running around and not knowing where to go next like it's just asking for like a disaster so I was like no, like you guys need to show up. You need to know where to go. You need to know what position to go to. Like you need to know everything. And they were like, okay. And like, so then I had this one girl who was like, oh, like, I'm sorry. Like I can't come. And I was like, okay, like, sorry. Like you can't be in it. Like I literally had to say that to her. And like, this wasn't my friend. So like, it wasn't that big of a deal. Like I was like, yeah, it's whatever. Like she's not going to like hate me. Like it's like not that, not that bad. Like I just, I was like, you can't do that. And then I just remember she was like pretty like upset about it. But you know, I mean. I'm glad I like stood my ground in the end because in the end, you know, like the performance went really freaking well and we ended up winning and we also ended up getting, um, what is it? 
like the award me and Riley ended up getting like an award for um like for the performance because it was that good and I was really proud and I guess like my moral of the story is probably just not to give up on something just because it's like super hard because like honestly the amount of stress that that caused was just so much but also on top of the amount of stress like in the end we were like that like looks really good like I will show you guys the link like it was like nice <laughs> so yeah and then that's my story <laughs>